Kresenkova and I'm from the Faculty of Law, Comenius University in Bratislava. I will tell you briefly about our faculty and also about our study programs, which are held in English. So at first, I will start with a briefly information about Slovakia and Bratislava. So why you should study at our country and also in our capital city, Bratislava. So as you can see from our images, Slovakia is a small but very cute and diverse country. We have mountains, so you can, in winter, you can enjoy your times, for example, hiking, trekking, uh, skiing. And also we are very rich on our history. So we have a lot of medieval castles around the country and we are very rely on our rich traditions and you can see on the upper picture also we have our very famous traditional food and also some of our cities some of our big cities and all are, are also very modern cities so down you can see Bratislava at night Bratislava has a very good position because we are near the Vienna, Budapest, Prague, so you can stay here and enjoy your trips around the Europe since we are in the in the center of Europe. So yes, it works. So our faculty of law, our faculty is the biggest and the oldest law faculty in Slovakia. We are the second oldest faculty among the faculties of Comenius University in Bratislava. We provide all three levels of higher education, so bachelor, master's and degree. Uh, all of these are also in Slovak and English languages provided. We have more than 40 subjects which are in foreign languages. Most of them are in English language. Our faculty has 11 departments and six institutes. As you can see, we have as much departments which cover all of these spheres and areas of law education. Our lecturers are not just the lecturers, but also they are professional lawyers with their own law companies or they are in our ministries, they're sitting in the parliament or in the prosecutor offices, so they have enough praxis to provide the whole education to our students. Uh, our faculty is participating, for example, in moot courts, if you know what is it, uh, for example, Central and East European Moot Court Competition, European Human Rights Moot Court Competition, JSAP. So we teach to our students not to memorize the information, but, uh, but also use them in praxis. We also organizing national and international conferences each year. During these days, it's difficult, but we try to do it as much online as possible. We also provide to not to our students, but also to other people a lifelong learning so the, they can reach a higher education and higher knowledge in the area of law. Also, we have a lot of sports organizations, sp uh, sports activities and also another law organizations. And also, if you become our student, you can participate in our Erasmus Plus program. For now, till this day, we have 90 bilateral agreements around the Europe. So you will be our student and then you can travel for, for one and two semesters abroad to gain more knowledge. And also our Institute for Legal Communication is accredited by the University of Cambridge to provide and to be an examination center. So here, yeah, here are some pictures of our, of our Faculty of Law. In the first picture, you can see our building is the main building of our faculty, also our rectorate and also our Faculty of Arts is directly in the city center. 10 minutes by train from our dormitories. Dormitories are on the picture below near the Danube. So students have a very nice landscapes and uh, uh, location of our dormitories. They can, for example, go hiking, trekking, and all they want. Also, in the middle of the picture, you can see our ceremony hall. So, if we have some kind of conference of 
as I can already tell, our multi cores. All of these things are taking place here in our old and great ceremony hall. So something about our uh study programs which are in english which are in english so we have a bachelor and master's degree study program in english uh, this year we opened a new three accredited study program bachelor study program uh, management and law in cooperation with our faculty of management this study program is designed for students who for example, for now, they don't know what they want to do in the future, if they want to study law or they like history, or if they want to do something creative, so management and marketing. So we merge it for them and they will learn for the three years something about law, the basics and the this kind of study field and also from management. And after this study, they can continue with our law study programs or with the uh, management at the faculty of management. Uh, students uh, should have, and it's needed from them to have uh, the state examination from their secondary school. And also I will tell you later about the recognition of their study. The tuition fee is almost 3,000 euro, but we can provide to our future students and for our students a funding available up to the amount of tuition fee, so they won't pay anything for this study. Which, is, which kind of documents are needed for the application? As you can see, the basic one is CV or letter motivation. Like I told, uh, we need to have a certified documents provide, provide, proving completed secondary education. And also we need to have a proof on, on adequate knowledge of English because this, this study, this degree, bachelor and also master is provided in English language. And applicants studying abroad, so from Ukraine also need to have a decision of recognition of documents on their secondary education. And also we need to have their academic transcript with final grades. Then if they decided that they like and they want to study law, we have our master's degree study program in law. It's from the academic year 17-18. It's focused mainly on European Union law and international law. So after the completion of this program, this student and also graduates will be able to work, for example, in multinational, international companies around the world or Europe, but also they can work as a standard lawyers and be part of chambers. Also, we provide a scholarship up to the amount of our tuition fee at, and it's also needed to say that, that we are one of from the few faculty of law around the Europe or around the central part of Europe who provides this type of master's degree because it's a proper two-year degree and uh, student and graduate will, re will receive a proper degree, will be a proper master and also the same uh, needed documents of so CV, letter of motivation, and also we need to have decision of the recognition of your previous Bachelor of Studies. And also it's needed to say that applicants who want to study the double master's degree study program in English needs to have need to have a bachelor degree in law, LLB on or equivalent degree of program with the legal education. So for example, if you study at your bachelor's degree, technology, informatics, and so on, you can apply for our master's degree because you need to have some legal basics. And I think, yeah, it's all from my side. If you have any questions, I'm here. Hey, Mad Mishka, it was really nice presentation. Um, maybe we can uh, just uh, remind uh, our our viewers right now that uh, the study 
is in Slovak language or in English language, just so we are clear in that. And plus maybe if there is a tuition fee on a Slovak program or, or on English program. Yes, so we provide, we have a lot of students from Ukraine who are studying in Slovak language at our Slovak programs. And if you are studying in Slovak, you won't pay any kind of tuition fee. So all is for free, just our bachelor and master program in English are or have a tuition fee which need to be paid, but we provide our scholarship. So you won't pay anything if you are studying in Slovak or in English. Mm -hmm. Juliana is asking if you can tell us, please, about all opportunities for scholarships. So you can apply for our, because we have our own fund, like a faculty of law, or you can apply for a Visegrad fund, which is provided for the students from the Central and Eastern Europe. And also, for example, you can apply for the National Scholarship Program of Slovak Republic or your own national scholarship programs but from our part the main scholarship is our own fund mm -hmm. okay uh, thank you very much Mishka that would be it uh, we are really grateful grateful for your presentation and maybe we can move to other faculty so uh, now as a second thanks bye <laughs> yeah, bye bye thank you <laughs> So now as a second should be Faculty of Arts of Comenius University. Do we ha have here uh, somebody from the Faculty of Arts? Yes, actually I'm here, uh, but we already spoke with Mr. Yaitsai, who should be actually as a first presenter, yes. presenter that I will give floor to him and then I will follow. Okay, uh, I will try to connect Mr. Yaitsai. We shall see. He is here. Ah, ah, you, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, you, you shall start. Uh, hope your presentation is ready here or you can share a screen. I will, I will share my screen. Okay, so hello. Can you confirm that you can hear me? Uh, I'm sorry, can you hear me when I talk? Yes, you can hear me. Okay, so, and can you see my screen? Yes. All right, so then I'll simply continue. Okay, thank okay. you. All right, so hello, my name is Robert Yaitsai. I'm from the Faculty of Mathematics, Physics and Informatics of the Komenius University in Bratislava. And I'm taking the opportunity today to present my faculty to you and to invite you to study at our faculty. So I will start with the arguments for it. Uh, I would like to stress very much that our faculty is consistently ranked as the best faculty in Slovakia in terms of research. That means in the terms of uh, produced articles, produced results per, per person in the faculty, we, are, we have been ranked number one in Slovakia for several years now. Uh, we offer university level education in mathematics, physics and computer science. And we also provide teacher training in all these three areas. So you can study the what we call the sciences, mathematics, physics, and computer science, or you can study for being a teacher of these sciences for uh, high school students, for instance. Uh, our teachers are among the best experts in the areas of mathematics, physics, and computer science. And uh, we treat our students as our colleagues for basically from day one. We really try to bring in our students into our research to make them join. Uh, students are encouraged to contribute to international projects as such nice projects as Mars exploration, which is in collaboration with NASA. We have quantum computing, laser based communication. Uh, you can work on discovering new heavy elements uh, or experiments on the largest particle collider, which is in Switzerland in, with the CERN collider, which is also extremely interesting. And we have a very close collaboration with these. And uh, all our students have access to modern computer labs, modern laboratories. We have our own astronomy and geophysics observatory. and. Uh, we also have, I would like to stress this, we also have very good services for students with special needs. 
Actually, the whole university center for students with special needs is situated at our faculty, and we have very good experience with these students, and we are very glad that we can help them study as well. I have picked some pictures from our web page. This also gives you an opportunity to, this opportunity to see our web page. That's the address at the top. This is where you can go for the information. If you miss something here or you have further questions, this is all in English, so you can definitely consult this web page. This is one of the things that shows up on the first page. This is one of our physicists who just recently received a very prestigious award here in, in Slovakia. Uh, there's another example from the front screen. This is another professor of ours from mathematics who is one of the globally most quoted mathematical authors in 2019. And one more example from the front page. And that's a, that's a picture from a conference we hosted last year, Eurocom 2019, which had over 300 participants. And the presenter here on this picture is Paul Seymour from uh, Princeton. So we really uh, organize a lot of conferences and we always involve our students in, in the conferences. Uh, I would like to also give you an idea what are the programs we offer. Uh, I will not go through the list uh, in detail. This all is on the web page. The, now the, the page is at, at the bottom. But as I said, we offer programs in mathematics, physics, computer science, and teacher training. For instance, in mathematics, we have four areas. Mathematics is a pure science or mathematics of economy and finance, managerial mathematics or insurance mathematics. Similarly, for instance, in computer science, we have bioinformatics, we have data science, and then we have the teaching subjects, uh, which are various combinations of mathematics, physics, and other other subjects. So this would be for the bachelor's degree programs. Uh, I should probably say the same thing as my colleagues said. This, these could be some of these could be bachelor programs can be studied in English. All of them can be studied in Slovak for free. If you study in, for in Slovak, you don't have to pay any student fees. And uh, I, my experience with uh, U students from Ukraine is that it takes them about three months uh, to learn at the level where can, when they can pass exams, take, uh, take exam, pass exams. So it's about three months, the languages are close and they learn very quickly. I'm now switching to master's degree programs. I actually have two screens of these, again, mathematics. Uh, gets more specialized. We have computer graphics and geometry, probability and statistics. In physics, you see that we have many, many subjects, theoretical physics, physics of Earth, also environmental physics and so on. All of this on the web page. And this is the continuation of the list. Again, computer science. This time I have the added cognitive science, which is an international program which, where we participate with four universities from Central Europe. And again, we have the teacher training and uh, I will also mention the doctor degree programs. I'm, I'm, I'm the dean for the doctor program, so this is my favorite part of it. We have five doctoral programs in mathematics, 11 in physics. We have computer science and then we have one program in each of those education uh, possibilities. We have at this point around 160 students in the doctoral programs. Uh, I also chose to give you some a basic idea that we already have collaboration with Ukraine. At this moment, I checked with uh, the other dean. We have 33 bachelor's degree students from Ukraine. We have seven master's degree students from Ukraine and eight doctoral students from Ukraine. Uh, so these, uh, uh, the majority of these study in Slovak without any serious trouble or anything. They, they really quickly learn and can communicate especially considering the fact that mathematics is essentially, uh, and generally sciences are, an, are international, an international language. So you very, very quickly can master Slovak at the level when you can communicate about sciences and communicate at the exams, communicate with your professors. I also mentioned 
Uh, one example from another colleague of mine, another dean, that the collaboration we ha that we have is with the Ushorod State University, and he mentioned two Q-containing superionic thin films deposited by magnetron spattering. They also have two patents, and then uh, I, I should say there were several students from Ukraine involved in this, and then also superionic conductors was Ar Argerodite's structure. And I also included a personal picture, actually a couple of personal pictures. This is when we still were able to go to Kiev and participate in the education fair in Kiev. This was in 2018 and it was down really downtown and i was there with two of our ukrainian students both of them are irinas i hope i'm not revealing too much information about them but they were very happy to join me and they really spoke to the people there quite a bit and they they are very positive about the studies in slovakia uh, for the last part, I would like to mention that we our program starts in usually starts in September. That's bachelor and master degree studies start in September. For the doctoral program, we also accept students starting in February. So, uh, undergraduate, bachelor's, and master degree students uh, start in September 2021. Uh, we have a specific site devoted to the information about how to apply, when to apply, what are the required documents. You can find all this at this uh, website, which is about the admissions. Uh, I'll, I'll repeat, we have both English programs and our programs, of course, in Slovak. For the English programs, the, there is a need to pay. The fees are listed there. If you study in Slovak, you don't have to pay. Uh, here is a contact address if you have further questions or you will need some more information. And I also list my own address because I'm, I'm, I'm very much in favor of internationalizing our studies. And so if you feel that maybe because you already heard me, you feel more comfortable writing to me, I will definitely respond to your questions or I will point you to the right person. So you can feel free to write to me or you can write to the address above. I want to stress one thing that uh, we have been working very hard toward and that is almost 50% of our students are female students. This is uh, part of our philosophy that uh, male and female students are equal in terms of studying sciences. Uh, it's all a matter of uh, correct uh, support and uh, we really are succeeding. Not only our students are, are female, well, half of them are female students, but we have also very excellent researchers, colleague, research colleagues. So also the faculty are, are also of, of both male and female. So uh, this is a friendly environment, I believe, and I, we work hard toward that uh, for both male and female students. Uh, yes, we also have stipends and accommodation available. Uh, we have stipends for highly talented and dedicated students and accommodation. I should stress uh, every foreign student at our faculty always receives uh, accommodation. There is a fee involved, but uh, there is no problem. There always is room for our foreign students, so they always can stay at the dormitories. So that's uh, another part that is very important. Uh, I would like to mention, although this doesn't probably apply to most of our viewers today, that we also offer postdoctoral positions and uh, exchange visits. Again, maybe I'm the best person to contact about these possibilities. Uh, this would be about it for my information. You can still see the web page uh, address, so you can always go there and check if you missed something or you want some more information. You can write to me, my address is here, or you can write to this other address. And for the time being, I would like to thank you for paying attention, hopefully. And I would like to say see you in Bratislava in 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yate. We have a few questions here, and basically they are, they are mostly about transferring uh, from another university, if that's possible. It, 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 okay, it's, it's possible, but there has to be some uh, kind of a system in the courses. It, it, we can only accept courses that match our program, essentially. So 
it's possible to transfer from mathematics to mathematics. That's usually no problem from physics to physics. It's harder if you come from a different area. There you may have to retake several classes, but it, it's definitely possible. Okay, okay, thank you very much. So uh, some of our students, uh, our uh, participants already are asking about like uh, some universities in particular. So maybe you can answer them in chat. And thank you very much for your presentation. It was really nice. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And I hope to see many Ukrainian students. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. And we shall continue with the other faculty, which is the Faculty of Arts. So, are you ready? Yes, I'm going to share my screen. I hope mm -hmm. you see the presentation. We will start. Is it okay? Can you see? Uh, right now, I cannot see the presentation. Okay. I will, I will try to... <laughs> So what should I do? I will open in a browser. Uh, have, okay, you, have, you just... upload, have you uploaded yesterday the presentation? Yes, I, so I did. So it should be here somewhere. And I will try to... Uh, okay, I think I, I manage. Let me see. Could you, okay. could you see my presentation? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so now we will move to the Faculty of Arts. Uh, it's um, the oldest and the largest of its kind in Slovakia, and it's situated in, in downtown Bratislava. Actually, there is six reasons uh, why to study uh, at, at Faculty of Arts. First, um, more than 120 study programs are available across 30 departments. Unlike the previous two faculties, our faculty is uh, about humanities and social sciences and languages. Uh, however, we do offer a variety or a large um, extent of study programs. So you can really choose uh, uh, the specialization you would like to, to actually study. Second reason is that if you choose uh, one of 20 foreign language, languages taught at our faculty, you can count on native speaker lecture, lectors who will help you to acquire language proficiency. Third reason is that while you study, you can already start to um, build up your practical skills as we do offer our students a field research and internships as a part of study programs. Fourth reason would be that at our faculty, we provide unique opportunity to study in small students group where um, participation of students is very welcome. Uh, fifth reason is that Faculty of Arts is situated in downtown Bratislava. Bratislava is the capital of Slovakia. It's a multicultural city with a long history of people from various Central and Eastern European uh, cultural and ethnic backgrounds. And the city provides many opportunities for professional and personal development. And uh, the proximity of Bratislava to Vienna, Prague or Budapest with accessible public transportation allows you to explore more than one country if you have a free weekend. So it's a really good position for you to explore uh, uh, Europe. And last but not least, our faculty has a well-developed uh, students' mobility program about which I'm going to speak a little bit later. Now let's move to study programs. As I've already mentioned, the variety of study discipline is quite extensive at our faculty. You can find study programs in the field of humanities like psychology, philosophy, history, in the field of social sciences, like political science, sociology, journalism, marketing, communication, and so on. And also in the field of linguistic, 
There is a possibility to study different European languages, including Ukrainian one, but also some of the Asian languages, like, for example, Chinese, Japanese or Korean language. And uh, most of uh, those uh, uh, study programs listed in, in the list, you can see, are uh, at both level, at bachelor level, as well as on the master level. Uh, most of them are provided in Slovak language. However, I would like to draw your attention to two specific study programs uh, that run in English. It's uh, Central European Studies and Slovak Studies. Central European Studies is a perfect study program for you if you love languages. During the studies, you will have an opportunity to actively learn at least three languages from the region of Central Europe, not counting the English as a, as a, a, a language of conduct for this um, uh, study program. And the program also offers you cross-cultural and interdisciplinary study of the region. Part of your study will be also um, language courses and study stays abroad together with specialized excursions and field trips, not only within Slovakia, but also to countries like Hungary, Germany, Poland, Austria and Slovenia. When we move to the second program that run in English, uh, this is Slovak Studies. Uh, it is a program for foreign students who has already some experience with Slovak language. Proficiency at B1 level is required. And uh, when enrolled at this program, you can improve your communication skills in Slovak and also you will get introduction to Slovak literature, history, ethnology and geography. At the end, you will, um, you will finish your study of Slovak language for foreigners. Um, for those who would like to be enrolled in this program, but they are not sure about the proficiency in Slovak, there is a summer school, Studia Academica Slovaka, hosting each summer approximately 160 students or participants from about 30 countries all over the world. Department of Slovak Studies also provide courses on Slovak the foreign language. So if you like to study Slovak language, but you are not speaking the language yet, you can learn Slovak easily uh, directly at our faculty. I am sure you will be able to choose from the list of study programs our faculty has to offer. However, uh, you can even enlarge your study experience with using mobility opportunity that we have to offer. Faculty of Arts actively cooperate with more than 2,000 faculties all over the Europe and thus our students can spend a semester or two abroad and they can participate in practically oriented internship during the summer. And uh, if you became our student, uh, Mlini Halls of Resident is likely to be your home for a while. Every foreign student has an opportunity to get accommodation there. And this is actually kind of small student city with the population uh, about 6,000 students. In the area, you will find doctors, fitness center, shopping center, cafes. And if you get bored, you can just easily jump on the bus. And in a few minutes, you would be downtown Bratislava or in other chill parts uh, of, of Bratislava. Uh, admission to dormitories are fully in electronic mode. So you do not need to worry about how to arrange your accommodation prior to your arrival in Slovakia. You can do it easily from your home. And beside the accommodation, also provide support for our students in a way of merit scholarship based on your study success, then specific incentive scholarship, and also social scholarship for students with difficult socioeconomic situation. If you study, um, 
Slovak study program, then you are allowed for each and every scholarship listed on this slide. So now let's move to admission procedures and exams. Well, a basic legal condition for being admitted for a study is to complete secondary education. The entrance examinations are taken in form of written test, and this test is specified or is focused on checking general abilities uh, to study at a university. We call this kind of test STEAL test, and they are available in English and due to COVID-19 also online. So um, it's quite easy to access them or to, to take those tests and then have a chance to, uh, to become a part of, of a Faculty of Arts at Comenius University. There is no tuition or fees for study and it doesn't matter if you study Slovak program or English program, um, there are no fees for, for both of them. However, English programs are only uh, Central European studies and Slovak studies. Well, so we are looking forward to welcome you as our student. Students of the Faculty of Arts are a very active community of young people which organize many concerts, sport activities, debates. So come and, and see by yourself. Thank you for your attention. And there is also a, a web page where you can find more information. Thank you very much for the presentation. Can, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I don't see any questions here, but it's pretty possible that uh, some questions will pop up uh, just a little bit later. So if you just stay and answer, answer them in chat, it would be perfect. Thank you very much. And we shall move to the uh, next faculty. Uh, which will be Faculty of Social, Social and Economic Sciences. We have Katka here to present it. So Katka, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, so I hope you can see my screen. Can you please uh, see me just confirm that you see everything okay? I think it's perfect. Okay, lovely. Uh, and I will just try to figure out how to do full screen here because I <laughs> somehow forgot how to do it. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe I'll just do it this way. Um, so hello everyone. Uh, I am here today to speak about the Faculty of Social and Economic Sciences, also at Comenius University in Bratislava. Um, this is a picture of me. Uh, I work at the faculty uh, as a person who's in charge of the marketing and PR. Um, and uh, I hope that today uh, maybe I will introduce us a little bit better and maybe uh, interest you in studying at our faculty. Uh, we are one of the best social science faculties in Slovakia. Um, we regularly place among the top in, in all the um, lists of, of social science faculties. 96% uh, of our alumni find employment within six months of uh, graduating uh, university. So uh, the employability is actually really good. Um, and we are quite a young faculty uh, as well. We are actually the youngest uh, at Comenius, but also the staff here uh, is young. And if they're not young, they're at least young at heart. Uh, I just put in uh, a couple of pictures so you can uh, imagine what oh, actually maybe I'll, yes this could work better uh, so you can imagine what the faculty looks like it's quite a new building everything looks very modern uh, the toilets are very modern you won't be like worried that the hot water won't run everything just works perfectly fine uh, this is from the other side we have a small private park that we sometimes use to to teach students um, so especially in uh, early autumn or in spring it's really nice that students can go outside and uh, enjoy the sun and uh, have a little space for themselves um, so I have a question for you. I know you can't answer me right now, but I would like you to think for just a few minutes, well, not a few minutes, for a few seconds, actually. Why do you want to go to university? 
what is the reason behind you applying to university perhaps? There's a few reasons, there's not really any good answer. Uh, so perhaps it's just to get a diploma, maybe your parents really want you to go to university, uh, or you just want to meet different people, uh, you maybe just want to leave the house and just go somewhere completely elsewhere, uh, or you want to get a great job afterwards, so you want to better your job prospects, or perhaps you're just curious and, and you want to learn. Uh, and all of these are obviously okay. Um, and of course, our priority is to teach you. So if you belong to the last group uh, and you are curious and you want to learn, then definitely listen up and hopefully you will find something that interests you. So if you are now finishing high school, and you enjoy these subjects, so it's uh, social studies or civics, so anything to do with um, maybe economics, law, psychology, sociology, uh, if you enjoy history, if you enjoy English, um, more of a lang like learning languages, because I also put Slovenchina in there because a lot of our programs are taught in the Slovak language, and also perhaps maths, which could be maybe uh, a surprising subject to put within these uh, social or like humanities subjects, but actually it, you don't have to be uh, Albert Einstein, but it's really good if you know some maths and you just know the, to think logically because it will help you, especially with uh, things like statistics and, and just logics. All of these subjects are a foundation for social sciences and um, so I don't know if you know what the term social sciences actually means because it's quite general. Well, social sciences help us understand what is happening in the world and why it is happening. Uh, so what will you learn at uh, Faculty of Social Sciences? Uh, well, I put a picture of these men in, in the pub drinking because anyone can do that, anyone can you know, just have some sort of a, an opinion and talk to their friends about it. But actually what we try to teach you here at university is more than just talking in the pub, more than just answering questions. We try to teach you think for yourselves, to be able to form your opinion, an informed opinion according to uh, informa well, valid information, to be able to sort through information, to be able to think within different contexts and uh, also, this is a big point to be flexible because you will have to do various forms of tasks at uh, Faculty of Social Sciences, so you will actually be very well prepared for the job market after, after finishing. Uh, and of course, to think critically. So um, these are just uh, a few things. Obviously, there's a lot more. And um, well, we have six programs at our faculty, so I've written them, them down here. You can also see what language you can, you can study them in. Uh, so I'm going to assume that most of you would be interested in applying for a bachelor's degree. Uh, so our bachelor's degrees uh, are in Slovak language. So to apply for those, you would have to have a good use of Slovak. There is, however, one um, study program, which is social and work psychology. That's the one that I've highlighted in blue. And that is taught in English. It's a fairly new program that um, where you learn basically everything uh, that you would learn in the Slovakian one, but it's, it's in English. This program, however, there is a fee that needs to be paid. The programs that are in the Slovak language are free. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the application procedure um, because as you would be coming from abroad, it could be a little bit complicated. So I'm hoping to shine a, a light on how you can actually apply. If you were here for my colleague's presentation that was before me, uh, she already explained it, but so I'll try just try to go uh, through it. Um, I'm hoping uh, in a simple way. So either if you, there's two options, you can be taking the school, the high school leaving examination in uh, Slovakia, we call it Maturita. Uh, if that is the case, then uh, you don't really have to do much. You just send us the certificate from the external part of Maturita and, and um, obviously a few more documents, but you don't have to take anything, do any more tests really. 
uh, and how we make up the list of students who are accepted is we take their results from English and from Slovak language and we put them together and divide them by two. So that's how we count the average. And uh, obviously, the better you do, the more chance you have to, to be accepted. If you are taking school leaving examinations abroad, uh, then the process looks like this. You can either take the CIO test, so CIO exams. It tests two fields or like it's two tests. Um, one is uh, general study predispositions, that's in Slovak, and the other one is uh, an English test, so English language. Uh, you can take this test individually. Um, the advantage to taking it is that if you're not happy with the result, you can retake it. I think there's a few um, dates that you can you can take this test. Uh, also, if you're applying to other universities, they will also accept these tests. And uh, yes, because I've already done it online because of Corona this year, I'm sure that it will be possible to take it online from your home uh, next year for next year's applications. Uh, the other option is our own tests. Uh, there are also two of them. One is general, just general knowledge, general study predispositions. The other one is English language. There's only one chance to take this test, uh, and it will only be accepted for this faculty. Um, but we will also be doing that online and. Usually, to be accepted, you will need a result of at least sixty percent. If you already uh, just, if, sorry, uh, can you move your presentation because I think it got stuck, and I think these are important information. So maybe they they want to uh, see them on the presentation. Okay, so what, what, which slide do you see? Now, now we can see probably application uh, procedures. Now it okay. uh, got there. Now it's correct. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I don't know what happened because I, it was no. moving okay on my screen. So, so uh, yes, if you just to summarize, this was if you're taking it in um, Slovakia, then you're mostly fine and don't have to really do much. But yes, if you're taking it abroad, then it's uh, this slide. I've already gone through the STEO test and now I'm talking about the SES test. Um, if you want to take a quick screenshot so that you can uh, see and count it later, then that's perfectly fine. Also, if you already have um, a certificate from English language, so we will accept uh, all major certificates like Cambridge or Oxford or uh, TOFL, um, you will not need to take the English test. So this could also be an advantage uh, because then you would just have to take one test instead of two. So. Um, yeah, could be could be easier for you. And then uh, the last slide uh, about this: if you uh, are not sitting the school living exam in Slovakia, you must not forget to get your certificate approved in Slovakia. But all the information is actually on these links that I've attached. And um, I will actually just do maybe a post on our social media for all of you. So if you wanted to just um, see the links so that you can click them, because I know you can't click them now, uh, then that's probably the best way to follow us either on Facebook or maybe Instagram. And um, yes, I will, I'll just put all of the links together, uh, even though you will find everything at, uh, at this at this web page, um, there is an option to um, click through to the English language version of the site, uh, where there's the admission procedure and everything that I've just talked about, but in a lot more detail. So um, any questions that you might have about the application procedure, uh, you will probably find the answer on the website. Um, I quickly wanted to also talk about student life at our faculty. We're a very active faculty and actually our students uh, participate in one of the, well, it's actually the biggest summer festival and they help uh, separate um, the, the, well, basically the, the waste that people make at the festival so that it's ecological. Uh, we also separate at the faculty and it's actually quite good fun because this festival, uh, there's always really big names. So it's bands that everyone knows it's uh, like, Yes, international famous people. Uh, I've never been myself, but I know that uh, a lot of our students have through the through the faculty. Also, students organize their own festival. It's called Surf Fest. Um, you see the picture with Tombola. It's kind of like a little maybe TEDx. If you know TEDx, uh, there's speakers, there's discussions, 
Uh, sometimes there's a band that plays. Um, we had actually the last president of Slovakia came to open Sefest a few years ago. So um, if you want to help with the organization, that's it's also very welcome because they're always looking for new people to, to give them a hand. Uh, then we have, um, I was talking about this picture in the bottom right corner, uh, we have our own garden, so if you maybe like gardening or you want to grow something, that's the perfect place. Um, and then here, this is a picture of our students abroad because we really support our students in uh, traveling abroad and going either on Erasmus or in, on maybe shorter stays so that they get to experience a uh, different kind of life and different kind of culture. Also, I just wanted to say, because obviously uh, it's Corona time, so uh, while we are not happy about that, we are fully Corona ready. Uh, we have switched to online education back in March when the first wave hit and um, everything um, works perfectly well through Teams. Our tutors are prepared and um, yes, you will not be missing out even if next year schools do not open however we really hope that by that time we will have we will be able to meet you in person and um, that's all for today i just went through everything very quickly but uh, if you have any questions i will try to answer them now or if you think of anything i've put my colleague's email address she's actually the study advisor for international students so uh, if you don't understand anything from the website that's okay, you can, you can email her. Uh, the application deadline is end of March next year. And also feel free to, to contact us through our social media um, in English or in Slovak, but uh, we will try and reply as quickly as possible. So that's it for me. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Katka. Uh, we have a few questions here. The first question is, may I ask what study programs are available for master degrees? Yes, of course, uh, I'll click through. I don't know if this is when the uh, presentation froze. So there's this table, so for master's degrees, uh, there's programs in Slovak, which is applied economy, European studies, social anthropology, uh, social and work psychology and public policy. And also, if you would like to study in English, then uh, you can study European studies in English. That's a fee paying program, though. So it's, uh, I think I said, what is it? Five programs with one in English. Mm -hmm. And do all uh, first degree students have a guaranteed place in your dormitory? Yes, thank you for actually asking this question. Uh, I forgot to say that. Uh, exactly like my colleague said, international students are always, always preferred. So if you're an international student, you will definitely get a place in the student accommodation, which uh, is a pretty great way of meeting new people. So yes, you, you will get a place. Okay, thank you. And also a few of our viewers were answering your question about uh, what, why they are applying for the university. So for example, uh, what did we have here to find the right values and community so i think so is the right place for that don't that's you agree perfect. and i'm really yes i'm really glad that um that's how you think about it um yeah we really pride ourselves on on um being part of the community and having our students become part of the community help out where they can and that's exactly why uh, they help out at the at the festival, which is also, however, fun for them. So it's kind of two two in one. Um, and we actually do have Ukrainian and also Belarusian students here. So um, if you applied, you wouldn't be the only one. Um, so yeah, I believe Sev, well, Ses actually, Faculty of Social and Economic Sciences would be a good choice for you. Yeah, I believe so. We have two more minutes. So what would you recommend or why would you recommend SES uh, as a university they should choose? That's a, that's a very good question. I don't know if I can answer it in two minutes. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, I really enjoy, because I'm fairly new here myself, uh, I really enjoy how progressive and modern everything is. And uh, I have met a, a lot of the tutors and they really, they're just really nice people who care about the students. You can tell they don't just want to, um, you know, get their pay and go home, but they really care about teaching students. And even now during, during the online learning, 
everyone is trying so hard to to make the classes very interesting and to give tasks that actually students will find fun to do and um, also a lot of the reading is, is very practical so maybe sometimes um, your tutors and teachers will recommend that you watch a movie or that you watch a series so I always really enjoy that because yeah if you can have fun and also learn something while watching something at home on your on your computer then then why not? And um, also one, one last point is that uh, we're very friendly faculty. So there's no judgment here. It doesn't matter if you drive a Mercedes or if you live in a hut, nobody cares. And uh, everyone just starts from the same point here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's right. The Faculty of Social and Economic Sciences is one big family when nobody cares where you come from or what you want to do. They're just going to like you. So, yeah, that's how it works there. It's really nice. And maybe until our colleague uh, prepares her presentation, uh, we may ask the last question, which is about employment. Um, anything more uh, specific or just in general? Yeah, just, just, just in, there is in general, but probably i think it was meant like uh, if the if the absolvents uh, if the al alumni from uh, from the faculty uh, can find jobs easily yeah. um i i have mentioned it very briefly at the beginning uh, actually our, our alumni are very um, popular on the job market and we continuously uh, have employers telling us that they prefer the alumni from, from our faculty because they have been taught to do what they need them to do. So practical knowledge, not just, um, I don't know, I don't know if you anyone, <laughs> but uh, not just maybe reading and, and writing something, but um, yes, transferable skills that you can easily use at the job market. So if you study uh, psychology, anthropology, um there's always skills that it's well that's also one of the big advantages of our faculty that we will not teach you useless things that you will never need we will always try and teach you stuff that you can later use in your life and in your in your job prospects um but uh like i said if you have any more specific questions so maybe if you're interested say in psychology and want to want to learn what you can do after then uh, feel free to message us uh, either on the email or through the social media uh, where I will try and reply to you. So um, yes, I'm, I'm here for the, for the questions. Thank you very much, Katka. So it was a really nice presentation. Thank you. And we shall move to the next faculty, which is Faculty of Management. Uh, is our colleague here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Well, thank you for the lovely invitation. Um, Feel free to start whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm just struggling struggling with finding the, the presentation. Oh, I thought it was ready there already. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've seen it, but I do not see it now anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> see, it's disappeared. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, did you share it through your screen or? Yes, I did. We, we've, we've seen it and now I, I happen not to see it anymore. Okay, this is different. Okay, there it is. I found it. Yes, okay. Okay. Well, I would like to welcome all of you to the presentation of the Faculty of Management. So clearly we are, we are a business faculty and I'd like to start to explain uh, why studying management or why management in general is important. Well, uh, in the world of business, we do need uh, leaders and a good leader understands the business theory uh, and the economy itself and work with people. So these are the things that we or our faculty are going to try to teach you. Uh, and the alumni of our faculty are specialists in fields like HR, marketing, IT or other areas. So we are very practical oriented and business focused. And uh, we understand that managers uh, are the ones who decide how the business is going to run and how the companies are going to thrive and if they are going to do well or if they are going to fail. And for this reason, it is uh, vital to know the theory 
and the practice of management. And we believe at our faculty that the experience and knowledge and a strong background make companies uh, work or do better. So why is it important to have a management degree? Uh, because the, uh, the degree in management empowers a graduate to adapt to specific needs of a business. And young entrepreneurs, usually without a strong background of, of management or economy, can have wonderful ideas, but then, then uh, lack the, the knowledge of working with people or seeing something in the numbers and uh, in the, how, how to run the business. So these would be the reasons why to study management and uh, we believe that when you have a degree from management it gives you either the knowledge to start your own business or a bigger credibility when applying for a job so what do we um, offer at our faculty we are very practical oriented which means that we try from the uh, first year or from the very first moment see uh see the leaders in you and try to make you learn more about yourself so what are your strengths what are the challenges and what your potentials are uh we always see students as our partners which means that we mentor you we tutor you and we try to give you as many knowledge and experience as we have but then uh, also let you do things your way and we uh, strongly believe in building digital awareness as well. So studying at our faculty, you will probably uh, learn how to work uh, or we will teach you how to work uh, with the softwares that are, that are used in all the major companies. And after having the degree from our faculty, so you will be uh, uh, strong enough or confident enough to uh, to take any position in any major company. Uh, similar to the previous presentation, uh, the, the employment rate of our alumni is more than 90%. So it's very easy to find a job after you finish uh, or graduate from the Faculty of Management. Uh, this is where you can find us. So we are located near, uh, near a hockey stadium, a wonderful park and a, uh, and a swimming pool for summertime. Uh, and uh, well, let's now let's talk about the admissions. So uh, you can apply for the faculty. There are two application deadlines. Uh, one is at the beginning, uh, at the end of March, and one well, the final one, the second one is the end of May. Once you applied, the applic uh, the application will be online, and uh, the cost of the application will be eight euros, and then uh, you will get an invitation for an oral exam which will be an online oral exam and on that exam or during that exam will test you on your english levels and on the overall well motivation for studying at our faculty uh, the management program that we offer for students is fully in english which means that you will not you will not need to compromise on choosing some subjects or just having difficulties in gaining the credits because everything uh, that is needed is taught in english and the uh, tuition fee for uh, one academic year for bachelor degree is uh 1990 euros uh so what we are going to need for um for the application or before you start studying that would be the application form that you're going to fill online then well the proof of payment that would be the fee of eight euros then your uh motivation letter uh and your cv and before you are, you are enrolled, we would need the recognition um, of your completed secondary education. I, I also posted uh, how you can recognize your uh, diploma. It's a long and a difficult process, but there is a link if you want to know more about it or if you have questions after this presentation. For the master study program, the process is very, very similar. The difference only is that if you want to apply for the master program, that means that you need to have a finished bachelor degree or bachelor education at some faculty or university with the similar study program to management. And then the tuition fee uh, would be uh, 2,490 euros. The master program is the, well, is 
as the bachelor program, which means that it's fully in English, uh, all the compulsory subjects and the elective subjects as well. And you would need to have the recognition of your uh, bachelor's degree. So it's the similar process to, uh, as we mentioned before. So what our faculty or in which uh, way is our faculty special? That would be the Erasmus and the exchange programs. We uh, we pride ourselves to, uh, to receive the highest number of foreign students every semester and also to send out the highest number of students out of whole Slovakia uh, every single semester. So we are very active in student mobilities. We support student mobilities a lot. So receiving the foreign students means that when you study in Slovakia, you will be in a very international environment, which means that you are going to meet people from about 10 to 15 countries every semester. And of course, we encourage our students to go and study abroad. The program allows you to spend one year abroad, almost one year abroad during your bachelor studies and then one year abroad during your master studies. Within the Erasmus program, uh, we also offer internships, which means that when you need to have your practice for the well before the state exam, the final master exams, uh, then you can uh, have your you can have your um, your practice or your internship um, in well somewhere abroad. So we pride ourselves that we encourage our students to have the international experience. Uh, or the uh, or well the other way around. So we enable you to study in a very international environment. As I said before, uh, our or all of our programs are fully in English, uh, so we don't need to worry about that. This is how it looks when we welcome our students. So we are very student friendly. Um, friendly faculty and we make sure that our students feel well. Uh, another special or different thing about our faculty is student associations. Uh, we do have student associations that are very practical oriented, which means that when you join these organizations, you work on real projects for real companies. So we do have a sports organization, but that is only if you want to join a sports club. But then we have Digital Marketing Club and ITX Club. These two clubs are specialized in IT. So within Digital Marketing Club, you work directly with Google Slovakia and you work on, well, on Google projects. And ITX Club is an, uh, well, IT club solving IT problems for companies. Then we do have business club of FMCU. That's a club that encourages young, young entrepreneurs to start their businesses or they give them advice how to how to improve their business. Then we have Bania team. It's a team that prepares, uh, well, the Bania or the welcome celebration or the, well, the celebration of, of students every year. So it's like a PR organization. And then we do have ISEC, which is an international organization that encourages students to have their internships abroad or to just spend some time studying abroad. And we are on LinkedIn, Facebook, and on YouTube. So if you want to find more about our faculty, uh, please try to try to find us. And this is our website and also a website uh, where you can find more information about the admission process and how to apply uh, for our faculty. So that would be it. Thank you. For your presentation, we have a few questions here. Uh, first of all, there was one question about the Faculty of Architecture. I would just like to say that uh, we do not have a Faculty of Architecture at Comenius University. Uh, but there was other question. If for master degrees in English programs are free for studying or if they are paid? I believe you answered it in uh, the presentation, but maybe we can just repeat it. So both of our programs that are offered in English, which would be um, a management program for master and for, for bachelor, are paid. Uh, and they are the, the bachelor program is for 1,990 euros per year. And then the master degree would be for 2,490 euros per year. Okay. Thank you very much. And... Uh... When we are in the foreign languages, uh, you mentioned that it's possible to uh, study in French and German as well. Uh, 
yes and no. So it is, uh, but these programs are in uh, in Slovak. So it's a Slovak program. Uh, as uh, my previous colleagues said, if you study in Slovak, the program is for free. And then it's a combination of Slovak, French or Slovak, German. So yes, it is possible, but the programs are not fully in French and they are not fully in German. They are combined. And for these programs, you need to have also a good knowledge of Slovak language. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, seems like uh, those are all the questions. We have answered them, but maybe oh, one more. Uh, what are admission requirements for scholarship? Uh, well, for scholarship, um, that's based on the decision of the dean. And it's usually when you want to get scholarship, you need to excel in something. So you either excel in sports or you excel in uh, in studying. So if you are a really good student, then yes, you, you probably get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. And maybe a question, is there also some kind of so social scholarship or only this one for being uh, good at something there is one but i'm not sure if it applies to foreign students so i'm sorry about okay. this i i do not know if this applies for foreign students as well i believe they can ask through email on the study department of the faculty yeah. okay thank you very much for your presentation we shall well, move to the other presentation oh thank you <laughs> uh the next faculty is faculty of uh um uh natural science sciences so Vojta can you hear us yes hello Simona hello, hello how are you um hello. do I you want to some problem with my presentation did you upload it yesterday uh today today you uploaded so uh what's the name of the presentation uh Okay. It's okay. Got it? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Wojciech, and I would like to introduce you to the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Uh, the Faculty of Natural Sciences is a top scientific education institution with extensive pedagogical and research focus. It is the most successful faculty in Slovakia in terms of co-financing projects from EU funds. Uh, our faculty is divided into uh, five sections according to the basic scientific fields, biology, chemistry, geology, geography, environmental sciences and national sciences teaching. So, uh, why study with us? We offer you diversity of disciplines and programs, modern technologies and devices, top scientists who can perfectly explain the field of study, and many opportunities to see the world. Uh, we offer you Erasmus Plus study program, uh, Visegrad Found, uh, National Scholarship program, and a lot of other uh, mobility programs. Uh, we offer you cooperation with important institutions and companies as uh, Slovak Academy of Sciences and a lot of uh, mag magical, chemical or pharmaceutical uh, companies as Medirex and so on. Uh, 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 our advantage is that the Slovakia shares a border with Ukraine. That means we have uh, cultural and the linguistic closeness. Uh, you don't have a problem to adapt uh, in uh, Slovakia, in Bratislava, and also uh, we have uh, direct air connection from uh, Bratislava uh, International Airport to Kiev, Lviv, and uh, Odessa. So, uh, our study programs. Uh, we offer you study programs in Slovak and also English language. Our study system is divided into three parts, Bachelor, Master and PhD. A bachelor study is oriented on general knowledge and Master and also PhD are more specialized. Our study is oriented on practice, that means how of all your subjects are realized in laboratories. 
We also have a lot of field works and excursions around Slovakia and uh, in abroad too. Uh, because we have a cooperation with the research institutions and commercial companies, our students have no problem to find a job because uh, during their study they have internships uh, in a lot of companies. So, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce you uh, biology. Uh, uh, we have uh, nine uh, biological departments uh, at our faculty, and uh, I see uh, a lot of a lot of bachelor programs. As I said in uh, previous uh, seconds, uh, the bachelor study is uh, more general, and then uh, the master study is specialized. Uh, for example, uh, you will study biology and on bachelor program, and then you will go to uh, anthropology or uh, virology in master program. So uh, we could offer you also uh, English study program in bachelor. This is uh, biological chemistry. Uh, on PhD, we have a lot of uh, study programs too. Uh, the next one is ecology. Uh, we have two bachelor study programs in ecology, one in Slovak language and the second in English. It's environmental studies. Uh, these environmental studies are divided into three parts. There are a lot of subjects from uh, ecology, uh, subjects from geography and as well as uh, geology. On master, you could uh, find four uh, study programs and on PhD, three study programs. So uh, the next one is chem chemistry. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, uh, we have a general program in bachelor for chemistry. And then on master, you could specialize on uh, organic chemistry, anorganic chemistry, uh, nuclear chemistry, and a uh, lot of other other possibilities. So uh, the next is uh, geography. Uh, we have four departments of geography and uh, four study programs in uh, geography on bachelor and three on master. Uh, one of, of you have a question in, in this uh, public chat about geosciences and uh, about uh, cartography. Yes, uh, we have a uh, bachelor and also a master program in uh, cartography and geosciences, but only in uh, Slovak language. But uh, the, the Slovak language is, it's, I think, uh, easier to, to study and only after one year you could uh, speak fluently and uh, write uh, perfectly in in Slovak. There is no problem. Uh, the last one is geology. Uh, nowadays we have two uh, bachelor programs in geology and uh, eight programs, uh, master programs in geology, and also nine programs in PhD. Mm, uh, but this program is only in Slovak. Uh, as uh, the previous uh, geography. So, some terms and conditions about study at our faculty for you as uh, a new PhD student. Uh, the application deadline is uh, on uh, 15 March 2021. Uh, the application is uh, online uh, at our web page. Uh, for all bachelor study program at our faculty, uh, registered applicants will be accepted without entrance exams. That means all of us, if you uh, made application, you could go to study with us without exams. But uh, if the number of registered applicants does not exceed the capacity of the study program, there are entrance exams on uh, July, on June. Uh, the condition of for admission is the successful completion of high school with school leaving examination. That means you must have a graduation certificate 
and you must have nostrification. Uh, the nostrification is process that your uh, graduation certificate are checked by our Ministry of Education and you have uh, uh, stamp that the, your study is same study as in Slovak on the second cycle. So uh, the good point is that all PhD students have a guaranteed place in our dormitory. And uh, as you are a foreign student, you have a guaranteed place in our dormitory for all of your uh, study cycle. That means for five or three years, depends on your study. Uh, uh, in Slovakia, we also offer you a government scholarship for international students from non-European Union countries. Okay. Uh, a lot of my colleagues before uh, speak about uh, Slovakia, about Bratislava, about uh, their faculties. Uh, our faculty also have a lot of uh, interesting actions, a lot of interesting events for students. And we, I think we have a fruitful and colorful study life here. So, but uh, nowadays there are a lot of problems with uh, coronavirus pandemic, but our faculty is completely uh, online in teaching and uh, every teacher uh, teach online through the Microsoft Teams application. That means uh, there are no problem to study online in this coronavirus time and every, everything is, uh, is gonna be, every subject are realized. Uh, during these times. So, uh, I prepared for you some short video, but we, I see we don't have a time. That means you can't find this video about our faculty, about our building, about our students on YouTube, uh, on, uh, on the Common News University channel. So, uh, all of information you could found uh, on our website, Faculty of National Sciences, point uniba point SK, uh, it, and we have also English version of this site. There are all information about study, about uh, our services, about international relations, and uh, there are contacts for uh, responsible persons about. Uh, uh, English and also Slovak study programs. So, uh, thank you very much for your for your attention, and uh, I recommend you to see our uh, so social sciences uh, uh, Instagram or Facebook. Thank you. Presentation. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, oh. I hear you. Uh, we haven't had any questions until now, but uh, maybe just uh, one uh, interesting or fun fact. Uh, Faculty of, uh, of Natural Sciences, you have 207 laboratories in your faculty. Did you know that? No, I don't know this information. <laughs> you see what I know. Yeah, you have 207 lab laboratories in each of them uh, some either your students or your your teachers or scientists make some research. For example, your faculty participated also on inventing uh, the test for COVID-19. Yes, in exactly. Uh, our students participate on, uh, on this project uh, in a science park. Uh, the science park is nearby our building and there is uh, the laboratory uh, they Study yes, yeah, so so it's really remarkable, and uh, by studying in the Faculty of uh, Natural Sciences in in Bratislava of Comenius University, you can really become a part of of um, amazing research there. So uh, I think our colleague from the Faculty of Pharmacy is getting ready, and. As far we haven't had any questions. So, what would you, what would you, why would you recommend to study at your faculty to our students? And maybe that's my last question. Mm, 
for my opinion, the best study program is biological chemistry because uh, it's uh, the interdisciplinary program and uh, you study biology and also chemistry in, in one, one study program. And I think it's a very interesting study program. Thank you very much, Wojta. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hello, Mr. Dog. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So, also, my, my student Natalia is online. So, uh, she is from Ukraine. As a matter of fact, we already have the Ukrainian component. So, she, is the sound bad? bad? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit uh, uh, jumping. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Natalia is connected uh, with you, or she is from her phone, maybe? Uh, she is maybe one of the one of the presenters uh, under your name. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, now she wrote me, so uh, I will try to find her and I will add her. Yes, yeah. here she is. Natalia, are you here with us now? Can, can you uh, please just uh, fix your mic a little bit, maybe put a little bit the volume, put it down a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, try to say something or turn on your mic now. I will turn mine off and you, you shall start. So, thank you. Dobry day, thank you. Ja tutaj się przywitam na przewodniczącej konferencji. Sorry, we can just hear you really badly. Can you maybe hold a little bit closer to your mic or something? It's okay. I think Mr. Scott will say everything that is needed. Okay, so hopefully, if I'm the only with the mic mic on, uh, it's fine. So, so Natalia is studying in our fourth year now, and uh, she is becoming the diploma student and uh, doing her lab. So, uh, so she just wanted to say some a few words in in Ukrainian that I'm not capable of, and say that she found our faculty herself and is happy with us so I, I hope that's what she wanted to say okay so um let me start with with a few reasons why to study pharmacy in bratislava and what are the specifics so we are one of the leading pharmacy schools in the region so let's call it a, a mid, a central europe and we have very good cooperations with uh, with fellow uh, pharmacy schools, at least in uh, the Czech Republic, where they are few, and also in the Visegrad re region, so including Austria, Hungary, Poland, and and so on. And we do cooperate with several several uh, pharmacy schools uh, all over Europe in and in in the world. Uh, the second reason that I picked up uh, is uh, hands-on practical uh, education. Education. So the faculty owns uh, two uh, own retail pharmacies that operate normally as, as public retail pharmacies, but they also are teaching our students uh, in, in the, the, in the uh, studying process. Uh, the th third thing is uh, interdisciplinarity. So pharmacy is, uh, is a branch of study that includes many uh, influences it's a, a healthcare system study, uh, so it uh, is based on on the basic knowledge that is also available for medical students. So starts with a lot of biology, a lot of chemistry. That is that is uh, more maybe in pharmacy that, than in in medical studies, but goes further to to understanding of physical. Um, uh, regulations and laws, uh, uh, also also technology, economics, and and so on. So uh, the graduate or the alumni of our faculty are. 
specialized in pharmacies uh, in the, the field of pharmacy, but they do know a lot of uh, other branches and they have very good job opportunities, of course, mainly in, in, uh, in pharmacies, in retail pharmacies, public pharmacies, hospital pharmacies, but also in very many other branches. So that is also listed here as the study pillars of pharmacy. So what the students uh, get to know, and uh, in few words, it could be sa said that they uh, do get to know anything about drugs, about, uh, about medicines, about active compounds, about the uses, but also about the healthcare system, about the, the patients and so on. So uh, the oldest drugs came from nature. They still do come from there. Uh, so, so let's speak um, uh, medicinal plants. Uh, later, humans have learned to, to produce synthetic drugs. The, uh, in fact, by paradox, later they, they understand how drugs work. So in the human body, uh, they, uh, we call it pharmacology. So where and how uh, do molecules interact with the human body and which desirable and undesirable effects do they have? So the, the fourth pillar would be you have to uh, be able to, as a pharmacist, to produce a drug. So whether a peroral drug, so, so let's say tablex, uh, a topical drug, let's say ointments or creams, but also parenteral drugs, that means injections and infusions. So, and uh, the last uh, pillar, uh, as I see it, is uh, retail pharmacy. So working in a pharmacy, uh, ethically speaking with patients, speaking with, with fellow uh, healthcare professionals, knowing legislation, knowing economics, because many uh, pharmacists will become um, business people of their own running whether a small or a larger pharmacy so this everything is included also in the studies to prepare students for for that so uh, the specific of studying pharmacy in most of countries in europe is that uh, the study is a merged study that means you don't get any bachelor in pharmacy in most countries and you directly study for five years uh, to get the master degree uh in all europe uh, i mean european union it has to include a six months professional experience so you have to work in in your last study years for six months uh in a public pharmacy or in a hospital pharmacy to get the diploma that is valid in all uh, European Union and to be able uh, to conclude this profession of a pharmacist. So uh, further, you will finish uh, your, your um, uh, pharmacy studies with state examination, get 300 credits for, for uh, directly five years and not split it, uh, as I said, into, into bachelor and master. So, in fact, the, the, the state examination follows these five pillars and, uh, and this, is, this is exactly the five branches that you follow in, in pharmacy studies. So, um, a few pictures. So, most of our, our um, rooms, uh, lecture rooms, seminar rooms and laboratories are freshly reconstructed. Uh, everything is oriented for the for your future future work. So, uh, so also the pharmacies to have to have labs, uh, not only the experimental labs for biological and chemical experiments. Uh, in your studies, you will meet uh, all the teachers in all the departments. So they are listed here just for that. that it's a specific uh, that you study a faculty that in fact uh, uh, concentrates on mostly one study branch and that is pharmacy general. And uh, all our departments or the, our teaching professionals specialize in pharmacy and they do research in pharmacy in their branches so starting from from synthesis from from cell biology and coming up to languages so specifics uh, of of 
foreign languages in pharmacy and medicine, and also uh, understanding healthcare as, as a part of physical education. So also our sport teachers do pharmacy because they, they at least take care of the health of, pharma, of pharmacy students and do, do research in that, how uh, the study influences that. So other pictures of our um, education labs and uh, um, scientific labs. So we do have some, some equipment that is very special in Central Europe. And we can say nobody in Central Europe has some of the uh, machines that do we do operate and and do uh, research on it uh, so that's just a, a repetition all our uh, full specialized professors associate professors assistant professors uh, that you will meet them and they will all tell you something about pharmacy uh, going with that, we we have uh, uh, central facilities. So so I already mentioned the the two own pharmacies, uh, university and faculty pharmacy. Uh, we have a specialized scientific center that fights uh, toxicology and doping, and a central labs that uh, that uh, are for all all the departments. Uh, we do also have a, a traditional sport association and a very active students association that uh, helps themselves and us with, with the education and with free time and uh, organizes own uh, international connections, own, all, uh, own educational activities uh, uh, with contact with pharmaceutical companies so so that's also a, a way how to how to find connection so uh, a job fair that they do for for they own with very many companies coming and speaking with them about their future future life uh, and and so on so we do have a very nice central library that is freshly reconstructed, as you can can see. So, with with many uh, very many specialized books, uh, uh, equipment in in the in the lecture rooms, and a very large uh, two hectares uh, medicinal plants garden that is available to students and to to teachers, and that produces uh, medicinal plants for teaching, but for also for 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 education and for science. Uh, so uh, the most interesting facts for foreign students. So we do have a Slovak master program pharmacy that uh, educates about 200 st students per year and an English master program pharmacy uh, that educates about 80 students a year or, or it depends, of course, uh, again, we come to the pandemic that influenced it a lot. Uh, the English program has an own admission process and um, and there is a fee for studying that is 7500 euros per year so uh, times the five years of study uh, if you get uh, uh, Slovak uh, uh, language knowledge uh, up to up to the level that you can pass the entrance exam in Slovak. You can also, of course, as Ukrainians, study the Slovak master program pharmacy, uh, and then all the advantages and disadvantages uh, apply uh, of of the respective uh, program. We have a very small Slovak bachelor program for medical devices uh that is very specific and uh, very very popular for uh, in europe because it's a lot of a lot of uh, devices that they are on the market uh, coming here you will also find an international uh, environment because we have uh, very many international students coming better to the to the english program or to erasmus exchange programs and that you can then use also in both study programs and uh, and also uh, many connections with with our partner uh, uh, universities so we provide uh, just for information all lifelong studies so you can you can specialize later uh, do a doctor in pharma uh, pharmacy a doctor uh, of philosophy or or specialize and um, as i said in the beginning uh, most of the of the graduates do want and 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 love to work in retail or hospital pharmacies but anywhere in the healthcare system a pharmacist can find a job uh, 
in fact joining the drug and and medicines on all their way from from uh, the the science from uh, from production to distribution and to to insur insurances uh, that that paid. Uh, last, uh, this QR code is is the general admission uh, server of Comenius University. So applications start December first, will end July thirty uh, first. And the admissions for the English program are online. They are once per month in biology and chemistry in Microsoft Forms uh, 50 and 50 multiple choice questions. So uh, uh, feel free to ask uh, our uh, colleagues at the study department and to check our English uh, website for, uh, for further information. Okay, thank you. If there are any questions, Simona, uh, or we are we are ready for the, with the time. Thank you very much, Mr. Todd. Uh, we haven't had any questions here, and we have just one minute. Okay. So uh, maybe if you have some, I don't know, something like special, interesting, or why would you recommend people to apply for the faculty? Yeah, becoming a pharmacist, uh, I say it often, is a good idea because you get uh, specialized in many things and you, you can do in your career many, you have many possibilities. So you become a healthcare professional, a natural sciences professional, and you have uh, many insights. You know everything about a drug, but, but many things about, about other branches, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Uh, thank you. See you later. Bye. See you. So we shall uh, start uh, with the next faculty. Uh, Ivan, are you here for the Evangelical faculty? You hear me? Ah, yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, can I start or? Uh, sure, have you uploaded your presentation or do you have any presentation? No, I have not. I do have a presentation, but I'll do it with the screen sharing. Sure, I... sure. Start whenever you're ready. So first of all, this is not on purpose, but this is the guy that our, uh, that our university is named after. So that's yeah. uh, John Amos Comenius. <laughs> so uh, my name is Ivan, just a second. Your entire screen, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Do you see my screen? Or not yet? Okay. Great. So, my name is Ivan. I am uh, the, a PhD student at the Evangelical Lutheran Theological Faculty of the Comenius University in Bratislava. So, just uh, heads up. Uh, my colleague was supposed to have this presentation. Uh, unfortunately, she had an emergency in her family. So I was told yesterday about this. And I have a 20-day-old uh, baby girl that won't, uh, won't let me sleep. So I apologize in advance for any lack in presentational, skill, uh, in presentational skills. I will try to make that up with my charm. So. Uh, I would like to briefly introduce to you the possibility of studying theology at the Evangelical Lutheran uh, Theological Faculty, uh, which is one of the three faculties of the biggest, oldest, and the most renowned uh, Slovak university, Communist University in Bratislava. So this is how our uh, faculty uh, how our faculty looks like. Uh, it's a modern building built in 1999. And uh, the year it was finished, it actually got a, like a prize for uh, the best building in Bratislava or best new building in Bratislava. And this is our chapel, which uh, in which we have our uh, services, our worship services, but also we have here many lectures, international lectures. And uh, yeah, so we have uh, we have five departments and one institute. So we have a department of um, Old Testament studies. We have a department of New Testament studies. We have a department of church history. We have a department of practical theology. Uh, we have a department of, uh, of 
oh, what did I miss? Oh, Systematic Theology and the Institute of Contextual Theology, which is kind of, contextual theology is basically how theology intertwines with other, uh, with other sciences or, uh, sorry, other, other fields like theology and sociology and psychology, philosophy, etc. So, uh, our theological faculty continues in, in more than 400 years of tradition of Lutheran theological education uh, in the territories of contemporary Slovakia, Central Europe. However, the tradition of Protestantism in our region has even longer roots, more than 500 years. This tradition is connected with a turbulent European history in the 16th century. In addition to tradition, innovation is especially important to us. Uh, at the level of research, we actively cooperate with leading foreign universities in Germany, Austria, Belgium, Finland, Norway, the Pontifical Universities of the Vatican City. We provide students with various scholarship, for example, Centro Melantone in Rome, ecumenical semester in Hermannstadt, uh, the National Scholarship Program and Erasmus Mobility at 26 European universities in 13 countries. We also provide theological education for Lutherans living abroad from Serbia, Slovenia, Romania, and the Czech Republic, um, more concretely Silesia. And it provides the important position of the faculty within the Central European region. So for example, me personally, I'm from Serbia and I have been studying here at the Evangelical Lutheran faculty since 2011. And uh, thanks to the Evangelical Lutheran Theological Faculty, I was uh, able to visit, study, uh, or go to uh, go to conferences in many countries like uh, Germany, USA, Finland, Poland, Czech Republic, Australia, and just to just to mention some. Uh, you can discover your potential and study theology and later doctoral studies in English at the Evangelical Lutheran Theological Faculty. For example, like I said, I'm doing my PhD degree at the moment at the Department of Practical Theology, and my thesis is about the pastoral care in cases of child sexual abuse. We have an active cooperation uh, with the Evangelical Church of the Oslo Confession in Slovakia, but also, if interested, students have the opportunity to enroll in the ELCA, which is the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Slovak Zion Synod program. And students uh, can go there on an internship, uh, which involves helping out in a church, helping out in hospitals, helping out with, with children, uh, helping out with, at senior houses, and just like uh, experiencing the either the pastor side uh, of theological education or the more diaconical or, or social work side of, uh, of our studies. Uh, so I was enrolled in, in this program twice and I spent three months uh, of my internship in Pennsylvania in 2013 and then three months in Pennsylvania serving in churches and hospitals in 2015, after which I spent one semester studying at the Lutheran Theological Seminary in Gettysburg. Uh, as part of our research focus, we deal with a new perspective on Paul and the Jewish context, Syriac theology, Oriental church history, and Christian philosophy. The quality of our research is proven by publication in valuable research journals and renewed uh, publishers, for example, Brill, Harashowitz, Lit Verlag, Fortress Press, etc. At our faculty, we regularly organize international research conferences and guest lectures, which are attended by world renowned theologians. On the right side, you can. Ooh, just a second, yeah. Uh, you can see the posters of the guest lecture of Professor Volker Lepin, who teaches at the Theological Faculty of the University of Tübingen in Germany. Last week, we, he was offered a new contract with Yale University. Uh, in the middle, uh, you see a poster of a conference on a new perspective on Paul, which was attended by Jewish theologian, Professor Boyarin from Berkeley, USA. In the left part is a poster of a symposium of 500 years of the Reformation in Slovakia, which was intended by 70 participants from 11 countries. Uh, and we also had uh, the uh, president of Slovakia visiting. 
As for our student life, we offer a rich cultural and spiritual life, spiritual counseling, devotions, educational exhib uh, exhibitions on the Holocaust, on medieval monasteries in Slovakia, uh, and cultural uh, events like Luther Fest, which is our version of, of Oktoberfest, uh, theological ball, skiing, barbecue, all of which is organized by the Student Society of Hurban. Uh, if you would like to sing Latin chants or sing songs in German, Old Slavic, uh, or Slovak English, maybe even Ukrainian, uh, you can join the Ichtis faculty choir. We also support students with special needs and our faculties therefore has barrier free access. Student accommodation is guaranteed directly on the campus. So the dorm and the faculty are in the same building. Uh, and one bedroom is, uh, costs 105 euros for a month, double room for 90 euros for a month, and, and room with uh, three beds, 70 euros per month. Uh, fees for theology, masters, and doctoral studies in English are the same at 4,000 euros. Uh, but of course, if you want to study in Slovak, then the um, study is for free. Uh, the fee for the admission procedure in English is 90 euros. And as for the uh, what you can study at our faculty, we have uh, three main uh, fields. First is uh, evangelical theology, which is the only field that is uh, actually uh, being taught in English as well. But if you uh, would like to study something in Slovak, also uh, you can also study uh, teaching religion with in combination with uh, either languages or pedagogy or uh, history, or then study evangelical Lutheran theology in combination with uh, social work and diaconia which is basically um, working at either uh, senior homes or working at hospitals, etc. We have numerous uh, contacts with European and US partners. Our uh, academic work and its mission are founded on the achievements of Luther's Reformation. We build on values such as personal responsibility and critical thinking. We enter into open dialogue on confessional, religious, and societal levels. And thank you for your attention. Your communist university is looking forward to seeing you. And if you have any questions at all, you can uh, use the contact mail that I have printed here uh, or visit our website of our faculty, which uh, has also. Um, which also has a website in English, uh, which is also printed here, and or visit our Instagram, ebf.uk, or also our Facebook page, which is not written here, but uh, is just the name of our faculty in Slovak, which is Emanjelicka Bohoslovetska uh, Fakulta uh, Univerzity Komenského. <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, I don't see here any any questions currently, uh, but okay. maybe we can just remind. I'm sure you had it in presentation, but maybe if we just, if just been reminded that in what languages uh, do you offer study programs and uh, mm -hmm. uh, how they can apply and if there is any fee. Mm -hmm. So. Uh... You can study, of course, as I said, in, in Slovak. In Slovak, you can study e either evangelical Lutheran theology or the uh, teaching religion in combination with various languages or history, pedag pedagogy, that word is always hard to pronounce. Uh, or you can also study evangelical Lutheran theology in combination with uh, social work. Uh, but if you want to study in English, the only program that is accredited, accredited in English is the Evangelical Lutheran uh, program. Uh, I know that most people who come here come to study because they want to be pastors, but not everyone actually becomes a pastor or not everyone comes here to study because they want to be a pastor. For me, at this faculty, I found everything that I wanted to study and that was uh, that I found interesting. So I wanted to study languages and I here I had the opportunity to study 
uh, English, German, uh, Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Uh, then I wanted to study uh, psychology, which also uh, we have some courses on uh, in connection to pastoral, pastoral work. Uh, then I wanted to study um, music, which is also, we offer many, many courses on church history, also playing the piano or playing the organ. Also, we have uh, courses on how to sing properly. We have courses on church, uh, church music, uh, etc., and liturgical music. And I also wanted to study, I don't know what I forgot. Oh yeah, philosophy and theology, which is basically uh, the name of our faculty. So everything that I wanted to study and what was interesting to me, I found here and uh, yeah. So, so I can see that the offer of the subjects are really broad. Yes. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and even so even if much. you and I know this is a very specific uh, uh, specific um, like specific thing to study theology, but anyway, if you do choose to come to Bratislava and maybe study at another uh, faculty, uh, just check our the list of our of our um, subjects. And maybe you can enroll in one or two subjects. We will be more than happy to have you here. Thank you very much for your presentation and for the answers for, for my questions. And uh, you were the last faculty, so I would actually close it now. So thank you very much. Bye. Bye. And thank everyone to, for watching. And hopefully you can... Uh, uh, you can apply easily to our university. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us through social media or through email on the study uh, stat department of our university. So thank you very much and see you. Спасибо большое, длинно, информативно. Многие не даже не дошли до конца этого марафона. Вот, но будет доступна запись, я думаю, что многие так и посчитали, куда-то убежали, а потом будут досматривать уже это, в записи. Большое спасибо, очень качественный, хорошо подготовленный семинар. Вот, удачи вам, всех благ, до свидания. До свидания. Bye. Так, а всем остальным участникам напоминаю, что э, вот сейчас в чате выложена ссылка, перейдя по которой вы можете заполнить форму и принять участие в розыгрыше призов. Заходите, ссылка еще пока висит несколько минут.